What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we have the big one. It's Wimbledon 2021. We didn't get Wimbledon last year. We haven't had Wimbledon for two years, but we have it this year in 2021, and it's going to have some fans. Don't forget, though, we do have some big names that are playing, but some big names have also pulled out, so let's go to the withdrawal list. All right, so some players that have pulled out of this one. Borna Choric, he's pulled out. Kyle Edmund, he's also out of the event. Goffin, he's pulled out injured. Rafa Nadal, the biggest name for the men who's pulled out, just managing his workload after a tough clay court season. Milos Raonic, he's also pulled out out of this one. Dominic Team, he's pulled out with a wrist injury, and Stan Bavrinka also pulling out due to injury. All right, let's start at the top of the draw here, and 32 seeds in this one. No one gets a buy in the first round, and Novak Djokovic, the defending champion, at the top of the draw. He takes on the wildcard Draper in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier Vera or Anderson in the second round. Then we've got Seppi versus Souza. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier Kudla or the number 30 seed Fakina in the second round. Then we've got the number 17 seed Garen taking on the qualifier Morales. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier Pullmans or the protected ranking Lou. Then we've got Martinez versus Travaglia. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier O'Connell or the number 13 seed Monfils in the second round. So the players to watch out for, obviously Novak Djokovic. He's the defending champion and has a pretty Pretty tough second round, potentially, against Kevin Anderson. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that matchup. Also, Monfils, what can he bring to the grass courts? We know that he's got big serve, big hitting. Can he convert that on the grass? And also interested to see how Fakina does, because Fakina has had a really good clay court season. But I don't know if his game can convert over to the faster courts of grass, because he's more of a defender. And with the quicker courts, he might struggle with the extra pace. Second part of the draw now, we've got the number nine seed, Schwartzman. He takes on Benoit Pair in the first round. Circle that one as one to watch. That is going to be a fun, fun match. Matchup. Winner of that match takes on either Checkinado or the wildcard Brody in the second round. Then we got Vesely versus Hanfman. Winner of that match takes on another first round that everyone should be watching. Vucevic versus the number 19 seed Sinner. Vucevic is a very dangerous player, so Sinner, he better be playing his best. Then we got the number 26 seed Fanini versus Ramos Vinoles. Winner of that match takes on either Cuevos or Gera in the second round. Then we got Harris versus Barenkis. Winner of that match takes on either Del Bonis or the number 5 seed Rublev in the second round. So players to watch out for, Rublev. He's had a great grass court season, made the final of Hella a couple of weeks ago, and his game is really suited to the grass. Very hard hitting, big serves as well, so definitely keep an eye on Rublev. Also keep an eye on Schwartzman. I know that grass isn't his surface, but he does have a pretty favorable draw, so if he does get through that first round, he could make a deep run maybe into the fourth round. And also interested to see how Sinner does on the grass courts, because two years ago, Yannick Sinner was relatively unknown, but now, over the last two years, since the last Wimbledon, he's really blown up and everyone's talking about him, but how will he be able to play on the grass court? So very interesting to see how he can convert his game onto grass. And don't forget, this part of the draw takes on Djokovic's part of the draw, which means we could get a potential matchup between Djokovic and Sinner, but more likely we're going to get a matchup between Djokovic and Rublev. And like I said, Rublev has had a good grass court season, and his game is suited to the fast court, so very interested to see how Rublev can do against Djokovic, potentially in the quarterfinals. Next part of the draw now, we've got a huge first round matchup. Number three seed, Savano Pass. He takes on Francis Tiafo in the first round. Circle that one as one to watch. That is a dangerous, dangerous match for City Pass. Winner of that match takes on either Bayana or Pospisil in the second round. Then we have Jurisimov versus the wildcard Clark. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier McDonald or the number 25 seed Hashinov in the second round. Then we got the number 23 seed Evans versus Lopez. Another one to watch. Very fun matchup, that one. The winner of that match takes on the winner of Lajovic versus Simon in the second round. Then we got two qualifiers going at it. We've got Zhang versus Hyong. The winner of that match takes on either Korda or the number 15 seed Diminor. So a battle of the young guns. Circle that one as well as one to watch. A lot of matches to watch in this one because the big names have got to play against tough players. Obviously, we're going to watch out for City Pass. How can he back up that French Open final that he made a couple of weeks ago. Also really want to see how Diminor does here because he's played really well on the grass courts this year. And it seems like maybe grass is suited to his game style. And also Dan Evans in playing in front of his home crowd. Always got to watch out for fiery Dan Evans. He'll be shouting and screaming. So definitely got to keep an eye on him. All right, rounding out the top half of the draw now, we've got the number 10 seed, Shapovalov. He takes on Cole Schreiber in the first round. That is a tough, tough matchup for Shapo. Cole Schreiber has a lot of experience, especially on grass. Winner of that match takes on either Hebert or Anduha in the the second round. Then we've got two qualifiers going at it with Ott versus Rindernick. Winner of that match takes on probably the best first round matchup in this part of the draw 
Andy Murray, the wild card, takes on the 24th seed, Basilashvili. And that is a winnable match for Murray, so definitely keep an eye on that match. Then we got number 27 seed, Opelka versus Kopfer in the first round. Winner of that match takes on the winner of Quan versus the qualifier, Masur, in the second round. Then we have Bagnas versus Ketchmenovic. Winner of that match takes on either Milman or the number 8 seed, Batista Agu, in the second round. So the players to watch out for, obviously we're watching out for the big seeds. RBA, who made the semi-finals of Wimbledon two years ago, and Shapovalov. His game is suited to the grass, but can he be consistent enough? That's the question. Also watching out for Riley Opelka. John Isner's played really well at Wimbledon in the past, and Riley Opelka is John Isner 2.0, so definitely keep an eye on Opelka, and he also won Junior Wimbledon a couple of years ago, so keep an eye on Opelka, and obviously Andy Murray. We're going to keep an eye on him because with the crowd support and a pretty good draw, he might be able to make a deep run here, especially if guys like Shapovalov, Opelka, and RBA fall. He could potentially make it to the fourth round, maybe even the quarterfinals, if he can put some matches together. And don't forget, the winner of this part of the draw will take on the part of the draw with Sidzi Pass. So potentially, we could have a Sidzi Pass versus Batista Agu matchup. Sidzi Pass versus Shapovalov, which I think is going to be an awesome match if we can get it, has five sets written all over it. Well, the most likely matchup for me is Sidzi Pass versus Opelka. Like I said, Opelka has had some great wins at Wimbledon, including the junior Wimbledon title. He also played really well at Wimbledon two years ago, beating Stan Wawrinka. So I think Opelka versus Sidzi Pass is the most likely quarterfinal of this one. But don't worry, Andy Murray fans, keep an eye on him as well. Because like I said, the seeds fall, he might be able to sneak through. And don't forget that this part of the draw takes on the Djokovic section of the draw as well. So the semifinals, we could be seeing a replay of the final of the French Open between Sidzi Pass and Djokovic in the semifinals of Wimbledon, or we could see a replay of the 2019 semifinals between Batista Agu and Djokovic. Either way, fun, fun matchups, both of those. Let's go to the bottom half of the draw now. We've got the number seven seed, Berrettini. He versus Pella in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either the lucky loser, Van der Zandschup, or the qualifier, Barrer, in the second round. Then we've got Mute versus Bedene. Winner of that match takes on either Nishioka, or the number 28 seed, Isna, in the second round. Then we have the number 20 seed, Karatsev versus Shardy. Circle that one as one to watch, because that is a fiery matchup. Karatsev has a game for grass, but Shardy, very experienced. Winner of that match takes on the winner of Munair versus Avashka in the second round. Then we've got Nishikori. He takes on Poprin in the first round. Winner of that match takes on the winner of Thompson and the number 12 seed, Rudd, in the second round. So the players that we're going to watch out for, Berrettini. He's had a great grass court season. He won the Queen's Club event a couple of weeks ago, and it's proven that he can play on grass. Actually made the fourth round of Wimbledon back in 2019. Lost to Federer. So Berrettini definitely can play on the grass. Also, John Isner. What can he do on the grass court? He's had some of his best matches on grass. Made the semi-finals here as well. Don't forget about that. Really interested to see how he goes. And also Karatsev. Can he convert his game onto the grass courts? He hits a very hard ball and if he can use that on the grass courts, he could go deep in this event as well. So keep an eye on Karatsev. Going to the next section of the draw, we've got the number 16 seed, Oja Aliassim. He versus Montero in the first round. Winner of that match versus either Songa or Ima in the second round. Then we've got two clay quarters going at it with Londero versus Major. Winner of that match takes on one of the best first round matches in the men's draw, Nick Kyrgios, he is back. Haven't seen him since the Australian Open, and he takes on the number 21 seed, Umber, who is in some great form on grass. And if you do remember, those who played at the Australian Open earlier this year, and it went five sets, it was an epic. So let's hope we get another five-setter. Huge first-round matchup, Kyrgios versus Umber. Then we got the number 31 seed, Fritz. He takes on the qualifier, Nakashima, in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Johnson or Dennis Novak in the second round. Then we got Sangren versus Gombus. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier, Greikspor, or the number four seed, Seeds Zverev. And I'll tell you what, this part of the draw is absolutely stacked. There are some really good players here on grass. Got to keep an eye on Zverev, the number four seed. Has the game for grass. Really hasn't converted that game onto the grass courts at Wimbledon in the past. So maybe 2021's his year. Also got to keep an eye on Oji Aliassim because he beat Roger Federer at Haller a couple of weeks ago and he will be feeling very, very confident. Played very well on the grass this year. Also got to keep an eye on Umbeb. Again, played very, very well on the grass in 2021. And you got to keep an eye on the king. Nick Kyrgios. He is an absolute wide card. Who knows what he's going to bring to this event? He could lose in the first round. He could make it to the quarterfinals. We don't know what he's going to do, and that's why he's definitely one to watch. And if he can get through that first round matchup, who knows how far he can go. And don't forget, this part of the draw will take on the part of the draw with Berrettini. So potentially, in the quarterfinals, we could get a matchup between Zverev and Berrettini, which is probably the most likely scenario in this part of the draw with the two big seeds and the two big hitters. Going to the next section of the draw now, and we've got the number six seed, Roger Federer. He's back at Wimbledon, made the final year in 2019, and he plays Manorino in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Gasquet or Sagita in the second round. Then we've got Krajanovic. He takes on the wildcard Bolt in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Puy 
Queen or the number 29 seed Nori in the second round. Then we got the number 23 seed, Sonigo. He takes on Soza in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Gallon or Coria in the second round. Then we got Duckworth versus Albert. Winner of that match takes on one of the first round matchups that everyone should be watching. Query versus the 11th seed, Carino Buster. And we know Sam Query. He can cause a massive upset here. And Carino Buster's played well on the grass this year. Query's always so tough to beat on grass, especially at Wimbledon. The players to watch out for, obviously Roger Federer. Gotta watch out for him. And he's got a pretty good draw. Manorino, he should be able to beat in straight sets. And then who knows how he goes from there. Also gotta keep an eye on Sam Query. Like I said, has caused big upsets here in the past, including beating Novak Djokovic a couple of years ago. And I'm also interested to see how Nori does because with the crowd being behind him, Cam Nori might be able to make a charge and also has some really good form behind him. He's at career high ranking. Really interested to see how he does as well. Going to the last part of the draw now, the last section of the draw, another really big first round. It's the number 14 seed Hercatch. He takes on Musetti in the first round. Circle that one as one to watch. Winner of that match takes on either Rusevori or Giron in the second round. Then we got Kukushkin versus Bublik. Winner of that match takes on another first round everyone should watch out for. Battle of the Veterans. Vadasco versus the number 18 seed Dimitrov in that first round. A big first round. That could be a five setter. Watch out for that one. Then we got the number 32 seed Chilich. He takes on Caruso in the first round. Winner of that match takes on a qualifier in the second round, no matter what, because we've got two qualies going at it with Trundaliti versus Bonsai. Then we've got Paul versus the wildcard Alcarez. Winner of that match takes on winner of one of the biggest first round matches in the bottom half of the draw. Struff versus number two seed Daniel Medvedev. And that is a nightmare for Medvedev because Struff actually beat him a couple couple of weeks ago on the grass courts. So Medvedev will not be liking the draw this time. Players to watch out for. Obviously, Medvedev got to watch out for him. If he can make it through that first round, who knows how far he can go. Also keeping an eye on Marin Cilic because he just snuck in to the seedings for this year. So he gets a little bit lucky. Doesn't have to play any of the big names in the first round. And he's had some pretty good form on the grass this year, winning a title. And also interested to see how Bublik does because Bublik is a very unorthodox player. And I feel like the grass courts could really suit his game. And he can maybe do some damage and cause some upsets in the first week. Don't forget, this part of the draw will take on the Federer part of the draw as well. So potentially, we could have a quarterfinal meeting between Federer and Medvedev. But I think what's more likely is we're going to get a quarterfinal between Federer and Marin Cilic, which was the final at Wimbledon in 2017. So very interested to see if Cilic can make a run to the quarterfinals, take on Federer. And don't forget as well, that section of the draw will take on the Zverev part of the draw as well. So potentially semi-final matchups between Roger Federer and Sasha Zverev, or even Federer versus Berrettini could be a possible matchup. But like I said, Roger Federer has got a really good draw. He should be able to make it to the quarterfinals, if not the semifinals in 2021. So there it is, the Wimbledon draw for 2021, the men's draw. It is a huge draw. And of course, we've got some big names not playing. No Rafa, no team, but it's still a massive draw and some big matchups potentially in the fourth round, quarterfinals, finals. And also don't forget the first round matchups, Kyrgios versus Umber. That's going to be a fiery matchup to watch. We saw it at the start of the year. Let me know down in the comments below, who are you excited to watch? And also who do you think is going to win this event? I know Novak Djokovic is the probably the easy pick at the top, but Roger Federer is down the bottom. They're not going to meet until the final, potentially. So going through the draw now, and it's very hard to pick someone because we haven't seen that much grass court tennis over the last two years. So we don't know exactly who's going to be playing well on the grass. And I did pick Novak Djokovic at the end of last year, so I'm going to pick him again. Novak Djokovic, I think he's going to win his 20th major. I think he's going to win the Wimbledon title. He's got a good draw as well. Doesn't really have to worry about anybody until possibly the quarterfinals against Rublev. But even that... I think he wins that matchup. So I think Djokovic, he makes the final and wins the whole thing. Again, let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? So Wimbledon 2021, we've got some big first round matchups. Can't wait to watch it on Monday.